rotation of a triangle about the origin and a fixed point. There are two basic dimensional transformation. In this program, there are two concepts used to solve a given problem. Two dimensional translation, two dimensional rotation. These are the two things we are going to consider while solving this problem. Understanding the two dimensional translation. Translation on a single coordinate point by adding the, adding the offsets to its coordinates. That means translation is occurred by adding the values to the x and y, the coordinates. Translation coordinate tx and ty is added with x and y to get new coordinate x dash and y dash. So that is x plus tx and y plus ty. You get x dash and y dash. Now the coordinate is x dash is equal to x plus tx, y dash equals y plus ty. Now you can see this x dash and y dash is obtained by x plus x and y plus x tx and ty. Understanding two dimensional matrix translation representation. Now same thing is represented in a two dimension x dash y dash and one. Now same thing is represented in the form of matrix that is 1, 0, tx, 0, 1, ty, 0, 0, 1. Now it is multiplied with the x and y that is the translation. This is the translation. It is multiplied with x and y. 1, 0, x, 0, 1, y, 0, 0, 1. So when it is multiplied, you get 1, 0, tx plus x, 0, 1, ty plus y, 0, 0, 1. So this is the translation that is x is added with the translation value y is added with the translation value now i'm understanding two dimensional rotation the given the given x and y value and the angle here the parameters for two dimensional rotation are the rotation angle theta and the position xr and yr called the rotation point or the pivot point and this point is called as a pivot point. You, you specify this. This is a point that is XR and YR. This point where it points and where the rotation occurs is called a pivot point. And the rotation at an angle of theta. The positive value of an angle theta is a counterclockwise rotation. That means when it rotates with a counterclockwise, then the, it is the positive angle. If rotates with a clockwise, it is negative angle. So it is a positive value of angle theta. It is positive value. If it is a counterclockwise rotation, negative, wise, negative values in, in a clockwise direction. Rotation phi and rotation theta at the origin angle. Now angle phi is an original angle. Angle phi is an original angle. This is the given angle and it is rotated with an angle of theta. Theta is a rotation angle. Sin phi, sin phi, this is sin phi, the given sin phi equals opposite side by hypotenuse. That is this one. Y divided by R. Opposite side by hypotenuse. Y by R. And the cos phi is represented by adjacent side by hypotenuse. Adjacent side that is x divided by hypotenuse. That is equal to sin phi equals y by r, cos phi equals x by r. Now multiplying this, y equals r sin phi and x equals r cos phi. y equals r sin phi and x equals r cos phi. You can write this, y equals r sin phi and x equals r cos phi. So it is rotated with an angle of theta then if when it is rotated with an angle of theta so that is y dash equals r sine of phi plus theta x dash equals r cos of phi plus theta so we can represent here so the phi plus theta so it is represented here r sine phi plus theta r cos phi plus theta. 
So the y dash equals r sine of x phi plus theta, x dash equals r cos of phi plus theta. Now applying the formula sine of phi plus theta cos of phi plus theta, applying this x dash equals x dash equals r cos phi into cos theta minus r sine phi into sine theta. Y dash, this y dash equals r cos phi into sin theta plus r sin phi into cos theta. Substituting the um, this values equation and x dash equals you have r cos phi equals x. So replace r cos phi with x. Then r sin phi is y. r sin phi r sin phi equals y. So replace this r sin phi with y. So it becomes x into cos phi minus y into cos sin phi sin theta. x into cos theta minus y into sin theta. y dash equals x sin theta plus y into cos theta. Replacing this value that is r cos phi r cos phi equals r cos phi equals x replace this r cos phi here and this one is r sin phi with y r sin phi with y that is this value with phi so now x dash and y dash you get it so now x dash and y dash so replacing the same thing in representing in matrix form cos phi and minus sin phi sin phi and cos phi x and y so this is the representation. So multiplying this, we'll, we'll get x dash and y dash. Now, two dimensional matrix representation of the same thing. x dash, y dash and 1, cos theta minus sin theta 0, sin theta cos theta 0, 0, 0, 1, x, y and 1. So when these two are multiplied, we'll be getting this these two, x dash and y dash. This is the two dimensional representation of this uh, uh, equation. Now the given problem. Given problem is the rotation of a triangle in an origin and pivot as shown below. So the given problem can be written as a given triangle. It is rotation at the origin and the pivot. That means it is moved to the origin it is moved to the origin, rotated and it is moved back. So the what are the steps? The given triangle, it is moved to the origin, rotated, rotated and it is moved to the pivot position. That means there are three steps that is translation, this is translation, rotation and again translation. So a given triangle moved to the origin rotation and move to translation. So these are the steps. So we'll be looking into the original position of a triangle and the pivot point. So the original position is this moved to the, um, this is the original position, the triangle and it is moved to the uh, uh, origin. So how do you move, move it to the origin? By translation. So what is the translation? Tx and Ty. So then Tx and Ty is added to a, as discussed earlier. So when a given triangle is added with this, multiplied with this translation, with this parameters, then it will move with the, it does the translation. We have seen that. So you do the same thing here. First is translation. Next is rotation. So you are supposed to rotate it. So how do you rotate it? We have seen that. What is the rotation uh, equation? So cos theta minus sin theta, and 0 like this is the representation it is use this thing to rotate and then again it is moved back so to move this we need to add to move it back we need to subtract that is what you are moving back by subtracting it so you subtract it and you move it back so that is it, you when you subtract it you need to add minus so that is what you just add minus to it so I'm looking all the three now the rotation at the origin and the pivot point is shown in the get, getting the general equation. So this is the general equation that is you are moving, translating to the origin, rotating, translating it back. 
so first one is uh, the translating so when you multiply all these things you get this equation so cos theta minus sin theta xr that is this tx xr into 1 minus cos theta plus yr that is ty into sin theta sin theta cos theta yr into 1 minus cos theta minus xr into sin theta 0 0 1 so now again it is rewritten as minus xr into cos theta minus 1 minus yr into cos theta minus 1 that is the only change that we do from this after multiplying this we get this and uh, we get we are just changing this is the small changes that we make okay now r is multiplied with the triangle to get it rotated that means this is the given triangle so this is the constant so the this is multiplied with this to get the changes we need now the program let us look at the program so glut init is to initialize the program with the graphics utility toolkit glut init display mode is to select the single buffer and rgb mode and buffered window is to use the color mode of rgb glut init window size is to define the size of the window glut init window position it's to specify the position of the window glut create window which will create a window of the function with a caption glut display function will call the display and whatever present in the display will be displayed on the screen which will draw initialize the loop cycle glut clear color and clear buffer will clear the background color and set the color which is as specified load identity will initialize reset with uh, identity matrix now open GL libraries the GL will specify the lowest level which will have the vertex matrix multiplication and uh, for example GL vertex 3f point uh, dot x like this function the next GLU GLU is a helper function that shapes the transformation for example prospective look at functions Now, GLUT is the highest level which will specify the interface management, window and interface management. For example, GLUT init window size. Now, let us look at this program which we are considering. This is a program. Next part. Next part. Next part. And the last part. The explanation of the program. Now, here, this is the given program. And now, let us consider the first triangle three what is this triangle so this is the x1 x2 x3 that means they are in a triangle there are three points x1 x2 x3 and y1 y2 y3 and this x1 x2 x3 and y1 y2 y3 are represented in this form so here 100 150 200 100 300 100 so that is 100 150 200 100, 150, 200, 100, 300, 100, 100, 300, 100. Now the next one is the uh, rotate, rotate function is called and the rotate function what it has m equals minus arbitrary x cos of rotation angle minus 1 arbitrary y into cos sine of ro rotation this is what is given. So now this m represents this part which we have seen as the formula. So now this whole part is the M and the next one is N. This is N. This part is N. And now this part, this cos theta, this is the first one. The cos theta is this part. And the sine minus sine theta is rotate matrix of 0, 1. Rotate matrix of 0, 1 is minus sine theta. Rotate matrix of 1, 0 is sine theta. Rotate matrix of 1, 1 is cos theta. Now, the multiplying. So, we have, here we have this rotate result of ij equals plus rotate of matrix of ik into triangle of kj. Triangle of kj is this value and rotate matrix is this value. Now, we multiply these two. 
to get the resultant matrix and here this is the final output it this the triangle is moved to the origin rotated and moved back and it is shown thank you